Would you believe me if I told you you could still get kills on a 4th gen quad core CPU? Today I'm gaming on an i7-4770 and it's still enough to be a kingslayer. Ah. For today's test I paired the 4770 with the 3060 Ti and I'm gaming in 1080p. Modern Warfare 2, I had the recommended quality preset settings and everything was pretty much set to high. I did turn world and weapon motion blur off and increased my field of view to 100 and the game performed great. You could see in some of the menus we were getting well above 100 frames per second, but in actual gameplay, frames were in the high 80s to mid 90s, and it ran pretty smoothly overall. The graphics looked great and gameplay was pretty smooth. I was a little surprised that CPU utilization wasn't higher. We saw about 60% utilization most of the time, and even the graphics card wasn't being pushed very hard. So you could turn the graphics settings higher if you want to, but in this type of game, the more frames the better. So I'd actually probably recommend lowering your graphic settings and you could probably get even higher frames per second if you wanted to. Temperatures on the CPU are actually pretty cool, sitting mostly around 50 degrees Celsius throughout the entire game session that I played. In Cyberpunk 2077, the CPU had to put in a little bit of work. It was sitting mostly around 95% utilization the entire time. and The graphics card had a, a little easier. We saw frame rates held back a little bit by the CPU in this case um, with some dips down into the low 30s but most of the time it was uh, above 50 frames per second and occasionally we'd get above 60 depending on how busy the area was um, even with above 90 percent cpu utilization temperatures stayed pretty cool um, never really getting above 60 degrees it was mostly in the mid to high 50s so Overall, I think this CPU handled Cyberpunk 2077 great. and You'd be able to have a great time playing it. I used the high preset graphic settings, so everything was just set to high and kept it at that. In Red Dead Redemption 2, the CPU also saw heavy utilization above 90% most of the time. And we did have above 60 frames per second for most of the game with some dips down into the mid 40s if it was really graphically intense. I played it just to recommend a balance preset graphic settings and things looked pretty good. Out in the open world we'd get frames above 90 and it looked great so overall I think this was a very playable experience. CPU temperatures were in line with our other games tested right in the mid 50s so everything worked great and I didn't notice any issues. So is the i7 4770 worth it? Well, right now on eBay, it's going for about $40 to $45 at the time of recording. I certainly would not recommend building a system around this CPU if you're going to be building from scratch. You can get much better deals on more powerful components that will last you a lot longer and you won't be stuck on a DDR3 platform. Now, if you're buying a complete system used from your local market, I would say it highly depends on the price you're getting for the other components. If you're getting maybe a monitor and peripherals thrown in with a decent graphics card, it might be worth it if the price is right. So let me know, would you ever game on an i7-4770? And if you had it in an old system of yours, let me know what you upgraded to. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my video where I reviewed the RX 580 and its performance in 2022.